hello and welcome to one more tutorial and on function overloading so this is I, th I think our third tutorial on function overloading so first of all let us take a look at the question that we have before us so the question says that we have to create a class to overload a function named series in the manner as described below so the first function that we are going to overload is void series and it has two parameters or arguments in text and in 10 and the intention of overloading this function is to display the sum of series given below x to the power 1 plus x to the power 2 plus x to the power 3 plus up to x to the power n terms so we'll have to create a function named series and we'll have to accept two parameters into that series uh, namely x and n and after uh, accepting those parameters what we will need to do is we'll have to calculate the sum of the series which I just read, read out to you and now let us move on to the next series void series and the parameter is int p so here we have only one parameter in the previous function there was just uh, there were uh, two parameters of type integer but in the second function there is only one parameter of type int and the name of the parameter is p and here it says we have to display the given series 0 7 26 63 up to p terms so here we will have to display this series and the way we'll, we are going to calculate this series is something that we'll be discussing later on so now let us move on to the third program so uh, it is also another function by the same name called series but it doesn't have any parameters so the function series is being overloaded here and the difference is that although the name of the function remains the same uh, its parameters changes uh, from one one overloaded function to another so first of all we have two in the first function we have got two parameters x and n of type integer and here also we'll have to di display the sum of this series and in the next para next function we have only one parameter that is p and it is used to display the uh, display the terms of these series remember remember that in case of the second function we are not exactly calculating the sum of the terms we are dis we are going to be displaying the terms themselves and in the third function there is no parameter at all and here we'll be displaying the sum of these series 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 up to 1 by 10 so let us take a look at the code and see how it's supposed to be done so i have already typed in the code in eclipse so let me just uh, get to the code and walk you through the steps involved in the creation of this program so first of all we have created a class by the name of overload and inside of our class we have written our code so you can see that in the first uh, case we have created a function called series and uh, we have taken two parameters int x and n and then in order to get this uh, in order to be able to calculate the sums of uh, sum of these series what we have done is we have taken the value of x and we have um, calculated the power of x raised to i so to, uh, to be able to calculate the exponentiation or the power of x to i what we have done is we have taken a function a built in library function of java called math.pow so the task of math.pow is to calculate the value of uh, some, some variable raised to the power of another variable so in our case what we are doing is we are calculating the value uh, the value of x raised to the power of i so when the value of x is raised to the power of 1 we are getting x to the power 1 after that when the value of x uh, in uh, sorry i is incremented by 1 and then it becomes 2 so after that we get math.pow x comma 2 so it gives us x x square after that uh, the value of i is incremented yet once more and then we get a, uh, the value of i as 3 so here we are getting math.pow x comma 3 so like this we will be calculating the sum of the first series and here we have got that for that very reason we have taken two parameters x and n and you can see here that the value of sum has been taken as a double vari variable not as an integer variable the reason behind this, uh, behind this is that whenever we are taking any kind of math functions 
so there are lots of functions built in functions library functions for math like math.sqrt math.sign math.cos and so on and math.pow is is also one of them so all the built in math functions of java they always return a value of type double so to be able to perform the sum of these double values we need a variable that is also double so for that reason we have taken some uh, we have uh, declared someone as a double type variable because if we change the type here from double to integer it will give us an error so here you can see the moment i change the value of uh, someone from uh, double to integer uh, we are getting a red underline below this statement so the reason is that we are trying to add the value of math.pow to someone and it is not possible because uh, math.pow is a is of higher data type so it is a double data type whereas the value of someone is integer so we cannot convert the double data type to integer so for that reason we will we'll have to change the value of someone to double because double is higher on the uh, data type hierarchy so java has a if you do, if you are not aware of this java has a type of uh, java has several built in primitive data types and there is a hierarchy of the of these data types so in this hierarchy list we can convert uh, um, we can convert a type primitive type which is lower down in that list to a value which is higher up in the list but we cannot do vice versa that is we cannot convert a value primitive type value say double which is higher up in the hierarchy list which is higher than integer to integer that is not possible but we can convert from integer to double but not from double to integer so for that reason we have taken the value of someone as double so we are done with this series and after we are uh, calculating this uh, math.pow what we are doing is we are displaying the value of someone so after this let us move on to the next series in our question so let us take a look at this question once again so we have void series int p to display the following series 0 7 26 63 p terms so i told you before that uh, the approach that will be following to calculate this series will be discussed later on so what we have done here is we have calculated the value of uh, we have calculated the cubes of uh, i and we have subtracted them subtracted one from them so in the case of the first value uh, so let us take a look at this series once so first of all we've got zero so when we take the value of one cube and uh, de deduct one from it we get zero and after that when we perform the cube of two and we deduct one from it we also get uh, this 26 and once again when we take uh, the value of three and we perform three cube so that gives us 27 and 27 minus 1 gives us 26 so like this we'll be we'll be calculating the terms of this series and we'll be displaying them and you can see here that we have ca we have what we have done is we have calculated the terms of the series we haven't performed their sum and we are displaying those terms directly so in this uh, is in case of the second series the output will be like this 0 7 26 63 up to p terms so according to our question we are supposed to display all the terms separated by a comma so let me add a comma to my to my output statement that is the print statement so in our original program the terms were being displayed from each by uh, displayed and they were separated from each other by a single blank space but as in our question they have specified that we'll have to separate all the terms by commas so that is what we have done here <coughs> sorry uh, so this is done and now let us move on to the next qu next series so void series this is simply a series and there is no uh, parameter inside the brackets inside the parenthesis we haven't got any parameters so let us take a look at uh, let us take a look at this we'll have to calculate the sum of this series 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 up to 1 by 10 so it is pretty much obvious that we'll have to begin the series from 2 and we'll have to go all the way up to 10 and uh, if we do so if we perform the sum of 1 by i we'll be getting the result expected result hopefully so it remains to be seen whether the result is accurate or not 
so uh, let us uh, so this there is nothing much to be explained in case of this third series because here we are simply performing the the, the division of 1 by i so 1 by 2 gives us half uh, or 1 by 3 gives us 1 by 3 and 1 by 1 divided by 4 gives us this so we'll we'll be dividing all the values of i from 2 up to 10 and we'll be displaying the sum so let us uh, run save and run the program so we have already seen these outputs before we are seeing them once again so this is the output of the first series this uh, void series int x comma int n after that we are uh, getting the result of the second series and we can see that all the results have been separated from one another by commas but there is a problem with the third series so we are getting the output as 0.0, .0. so why is this happening so there must, must be some um, syntactical error or logical error in our code so there is no syntactical error but there is a logical problem so although our logic is sound we are dividing 1 by i but we are making a mistake here we are simply performing the division of one integer by another integer so 1 here let us take a look at the first term of this series 1 by 2 so 1 here is an integer val val value because it doesn't have a decimal part and 2 here is also a, a sort of an integer value because it doesn't have any kind of decimal part so when we are performing when, a com when the java compiler is attempt to attempting to divide one integer by another integer and the value that is the numerator is lower than the denominator so it, it will give us a zero so you can see that always the numerator is lesser than the denominator so when we divide attempt to divide 1 by 3 the result will be zero because we, uh, we are attempting to divide one integer by another integer and obviously when we attempt to divide perform an integer division in java or in, in, in any other programming language that's, uh, that uses integer values the result will be zero because it will not take the value in the decimal part so in case of 1 by 2 we are supposed to get 0 0.5 in case of 1 by 3 we are supposed to get 0 0.33 and so on but here in case but as we are performing an integer division it will simply take the quotient part that is the part before the decimal comes into play so it will simply take the value of 0 and it will in uh, ignore uh, the part after the decimal point that is 0 0.5 so it will simply uh, take zeros and perform their addition and finally we will get the value 0, 0.0 as sum 3 is an integer value so one way of resolving this problem is either Div, uh, perf multiplying 1 with 1.0 and i with 1.0 either uh, 1 with we can what we can do is we, we need to convert this 1 this 1 to d double or i to double or we can convert both of them to double values so, so one way of doing is doing this is multiplying the numerator with 1.0 as well as the denominator with 1.0 so both the values when we are dividing uh, sorry when we are uh, performing the product of 1 and i with 1.0 it gives us the same value but in the form of a double so when we are performing the uh, multiplication of 2 into uh, 1, 1 1.0 it gives us 2.0 so 2.0 is actually the double variant of 2 where 2 is an integer so when we are performing the division of 1.0 by 2.0 we are getting double as a result so when 1.0 is being divided by 2.0 so we are no longer performing any kind of uh, integer division we are performing a double type division so in that case what it will do is it will simply give us the correct result that is 0 0.5 next when we are performing the division of 1.0 by 3, 3 into 1.0 that is 3.0 so it will give us the correct output of 0 0.33 next when we are going to be dividing um, 1.0 with 4.0 so all the values of i i is actually an integer they are being multiplied with 1.0 and then it is getting converted from integer to double and uh, after that 4 is being multiplied with i uh, sorry uh, 4 is being multiplied with 1.0 and it gives us 4.0 so then we will be getting 0 0.25 so like this we will be getting the proper output so here is the, here is one way of fixing this code this flaw in our code so either we can take uh, both we can convert both of these values to double or we can simply convert either one or i to double 
so i recommend converting both of this uh, numerator as well as the denominator to double to avoid any kind of potential issues in the output so now let us save this code and run it once again so now you can see we are getting a proper double value as the result so it is not possible for us to verify this because we'll have to perform a long cal calculation but hopefully it is correct this output is correct so there is nothing more to be explained here so i hope you understood this tutorial and uh, i hope it has served the purpose so uh, please take a look at this code once again and if you have any doubts please leave your uh, suggestions or queries in the comment section and i'll try try to get back to you as soon as you as i can so that's it for now i'll see you in my next video thanks a lot and have a nice